I'm back for video number two. I'm super excited to be posting this video because it's actual content on this one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into uh, the content or the topic for today because I can talk for a long time and I don't want this video to be longer than like five minutes. So um, by the title on the video, we're talking about the theme Stop Celebrating Scraps, right? So we're going to stop celebrating scraps after this video, okay? Now you're like, okay, so what does that mean, Sinead? I'm glad you asked. I'm going to tell you. So... In order to stop solar brain scraps, you have to be able to recognize what scraps are. So, what are scraps? So, imagine with me a dog that is tied up outside and the owner is just not feeding it. By the way, you shouldn't do that because that's animal cruelty and we don't condone that. Anyways, moving on. That's not the point of this video. <laughs> so, the dog is outside and it's starving. The owner's not feeding it. It is like just laid out, right? It needs something. So the owner sees it outside, it's starving, and it throws it a half a piece of bacon. Dog is like super grateful. It's it's it like just gobbling up the bacon. The owner, you know, it's like, okay, I'm gonna throw a little bit more. Throws out, I don't know, I have a piece of bagel. The dog is like, thank you, I am starving out here. He's gonna eat it again, right? So let's transfer that over to real world, over to like relationships. So let's say you're in a drought. We're talking about relationships, you're in a drought. You ain't really talking to nobody. You're not texting, you know, nobody. I'm specifically talking to the ladies, but I guess this could apply uh, to men as well. But you're not talking to nobody. You ain't just up texting nobody. You're not going on dates. You're kind of just in a drought. You're starving for companionship, right? And it can feel as though anything that is thrown your way, you're grateful for. For example, if you're in the drought and someone sends you a, hey, good morning text, you're like, oh, he texts me or if it's an ex that you know you shouldn't be talking to and he texts you good night baby scrap or if you find yourself talking to people that you know are not husband material people that you know just do not align with what you believe in you start to accept things from them that you wouldn't necessarily accept if you were not in a drought you following me so this is what I mean by scraps we tend to celebrate the smallest of things because we're in desperation. So you celebrate a, oh, good morning, beautiful, scrap. No, we're not going to celebrate that. You celebrate a good night text, scrap. We're not celebrating that. Where you celebrate, let's see, um, uh, hey, come on with us, Netflix and chill. No, 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 no. That's a scrap. And we're not accepting or allowing scraps anymore because we know that even though we're in a drought and even though it's not our season of dating or our season to be talking to anyone, we understand that the more little scraps that we accept, the more they'll continue to throw scraps at us. So you have to get to a place to where people understand that they can't approach you with just good morning texts. They can't approach you with just, hey, let's come over and chill. Like They can't approach you with scraps anymore. Uh, if you see me looking down, it's because I'm looking at my, my notes. So, it's now how do we avoid scraps? It's very simple. Good morning text you don't reply to. Good night text you don't reply to because we don't reply to scraps. Now, I'm not saying if you're talking to somebody and they text you good night, you don't say good night. Clearly, y'all trying to, you know, get together. Say good night. Don't be rude. But if it's somebody you shouldn't be talking to, somebody that you are trying to avoid, somebody that you, that you have ended a relationship with, do not accept their scraps. And to avoid them, you just avoid them. To avoid the scraps, you avoid the person. So you deserve more than just scraps. Uh, the Bible tells us that Jesus died so that you would have a life and have it more abundantly. He didn't die for you to have no piece of bacon. He died for you to have the whole steak and potatoes. So it's like, why accept scraps? You don't have to. Uh, my last point to this is that know what you bring to the table. Know that I bring confidence to the table. Know that I bring independence to the table. Know that I bring assurance of myself and of my God to the table. And if you're bringing that to the table, you ought not let just anybody sit at your table. You know exactly what you bring. You know exactly what you're coming with. Can't just know Dick, Tom, and Harry come to your table with a half a piece of bacon. Uh-uh. It's not working like that. Do not accept scraps. We're not going to celebrate these boys that are sending us scraps. Or if you're a guy listening to this, don't celebrate no female just giving you no scraps. No. We don't <laughs> applaud scraps anymore. Somebody throw you a piece of bacon. 
So you thought. And keep it moving. Y'all be blessed out here. Stop celebrating scraps. You're worth so much more than that. Thank you for tuning in to Jewish Jewels. I'll see y'all in two weeks. Love y'all.